At Sydney Metro, we're working with our delivery partners to ensure our heavy transport vehicles operate safely when on the road, to safeguard the workforce and to keep the community safe. Every day, hundreds of truck movements take place across the city's road network, playing an important part in the construction of Australia's biggest public transport project. Nicole O'Connor is a logistics coordinator and has been on the project for over two years. Hey Nicole, could you tell me about some of the safety requirements on the heavy vehicles on site? Yeah, so in addition to the minimum legal requirements under HVNL, we have a minimum standard for driver and vehicle safety and tracking, and of course load safety. So how many truck deliveries would you see day to day on site? So in our peak time in construction here at Central Station, we would have had up to 80 deliveries a day, which is quite a lot. A lot of management in that one, 80 deliveries coming in and out safely each day. So what are some of the challenges you'd find working in the middle of the CBD? Our primary challenges would be traffic and pedestrian management. We need to ensure that all deliveries arriving and leaving site do so safely by following approved project routes and also the loading and unloading of vehicles need to be done safely without impact on the public. How's about we go have a look at some of these safety features? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Wow, Nicole, it's really high up here. Yeah, it is hard to see up here. There's a lot of blind spots. And all frequent deliveries on our site must be installed with cameras and mirrors to eliminate all blind spots. So we achieve this by installing class five and class six mirrors and also reversing cameras at the back. So just on your left here, that would be an example of a class five mirror. This allows the driver to see all areas down by the passenger door. And also, if you just look here at the front, that would be an example of our Class 6 mirror. It just gives the driver a full field view of the front of the truck. And then we install our reversing cameras in the rear, and the image of the back of the truck will come up here on the screen. By installing these Class 5 and Class 6 mirrors and the reversing cameras, it allows our drivers of the large vehicles to eliminate all the blind spots and to see vulnerable road users like pedestrians and cyclists. These things installed in our trucks definitely eliminates all the blind spots. Yeah, it certainly does, it's great. So Nicole, we're on the other side of the heavy vehicle. Can you tell me a bit about this? Yeah, so up next we've got our side underrun protection. Our side underrun protection system is installed between the front and the rear axles and it prevents collisions with small cars, vehicles, pedestrians coming in contact with the rear wheel when the vehicle is in motion. An international study that was done in the UK has proven by installing the side underrun protection system that cyclist fatalities has reduced by 61%, pedestrian fatalities by 20%. Also, can you just tell me about these reflectors, what they're for? Yeah, so these reflective markings here is conspicuity markings, and these are installed in the side and the rear of the truck. On the side of the truck, they're always yellow, and on the rear of the truck, they're red. And these help line up the truck in dark conditions, so at night time, it helps other road users clearly see the heavy vehicle. Again, studies have shown that from installing these reflective markings, that it can reduce accidents with car users for up to 44%. And in addition to that also, Adam, we have GPS installed in all our heavy vehicles that come to site. This is very useful so we can track approved routes that our vehicles are taking, fatigue management also. As conditions change, and not every load is the same, it is important that we're prepared for whatever situation may arise on the road. So before arriving or leaving the site, this helps ensure our vehicles together with their loads are safe for the journey ahead. The driver does an inspection of the vehicle and makes sure it's in a safe and roadworthy condition. This involves checking the loads are properly secured and restraints are in place. All these checks are signed off on our pre-departure checklist before leaving. Safety is our number one priority here at Sydney Metro. These are just some of the features we have implemented to keep road users safe whilst we deliver this project.